President Donald Trump's controversial border official has benefited from another conservative case. He has staged dramatic raids to bring down his so-called pedophile gangs. And he is helped by former lieutenant of former federal agent whose story is alleged to be perverse. That inspired movie The Sound of Freedom. Mission Safe Harbor premiered Twitter on September 21. Then Telegram two weeks later. A video of the same messages and tactical large-built men counting ammunition firing weapons at close-range targets. The S also included misty clips in which similarly dressed figures dived into the vaulted motel rooms and struggled with the faceless perpetrators inside. She wrote introduction to Mission Safe Harbor on social media posts. Biz is a non-profit organization and our mission is to protect children. We train qualified military veterans to integrate with law enforcement by detecting and arresting pedophiles and conducting operations to combat child abuse. Virginia business records reveal that Mission Safe Harbor was a fictitious name for an organization that was founded last December called Free Them All Inc. and employer identification number provided by IRS on Mission Safe Harbor's donation page matches. Number on letter sent by federal tax collector to Free and May Them All Inc. Approved charitable organization status application. The recipient this letter is Ken Cuccinelli. Who registered the Mission Safe Harbor trade title founder Free Them All? Former Attorney General Virginia and President Trump's U.S. Customs Immigration Services. In all three applications, Cuccinelli used dress at Spotsylvania, one and a half hours south of D.C. Local property records show that the person who was once a candidate for the Old Dominion governor had partner with his wife. An introduction to the hyper-earned world of sex trafficking rescue meant for Cuccinelli, who made his name known as a fierce enemy of gay rights. Climate policy and innate citizenship in Richmond before Trump made him the country's boss. Immigration and naturalization services in 2019. Later, a federal judge ruled that the appointment was illegal because it bypassed the Senate. And this crowned a large number of debates that occurred during Cuccinelli's tenure at USCIS. But according to political scientist Mark Rosell, who observed the Republican's career from his own position at George Mason University, this task opened new national horizons for Cuccinelli. Even if his hopes in blue trend Virginia dwindled, still, the dean of public policy school argued that Mission Safe Harbor was probably more than just a simple corruption. Through the Daily Beast, Rosell said a statement. His role Trump administration provided him with a more national platform and created the opportunity to be part of an initiative like this, which seems so different from anything his activism passed when I watch his political career over the years. I see that he is really committed to the social conservative. 